Hey loves, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. So happy to have you here. Uh, we have a really exciting video today. Unique Vintage has sent me some of their Halloween dresses. I am I am absolutely thrilled. They sent them with like no sort of like expectation of what they were going to get. Um, mostly Instagram content. Uh, but I had Alina take a little bit of extra long videos yesterday while I was modeling them for Instagram, I guess. It's always weird to call myself a model, but you guys know what I mean. Uh, so yesterday we were out shooting some really fun content uh, with these dresses, because you guys knew, uh, you guys know, and as soon as I got this new hair, by the way, new hair, we'll talk more about it soon. Um, I just was like, Halloween Halloween time. I, at the minute I was like, we, we got it, we got it. You guys know I love Halloween. I really love unique vintage dresses. And honestly, this has been a little bit of a dream. Like, unique vintage, period. Unique vintage Halloween. It's always so good and they always drop it early and it's just beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and start going through these. There are five different dresses. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you to Unique Vintage for gifting these to me. Uh, I do greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, I will link everything down below, I think. I think they are affiliated through Magic Link. So I might be able to do affiliate links down on the bottom if you guys decide to check out Unique Vintage. It would be great if you could use those links for me. Um, just helps me out a little bit and helps me keep making these videos. By the way, hi, I'm Shannon, <laughs> if you're new here. I do lots of plus size fashion, some beauty, some vlogs, some Halloween-y stuff right now. We are starting, it, I'm declaring it here, spooky season. So I hope you're cool with it. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions about my measurements, my sizing, my height, all that jazz is down below in the description box. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so I'm not going to try them on right now in this room, but I tried these all on and styled them yesterday, given I was really, it was really hot and I was really tired and the pair of shoes that I had on went with like all of them. So I think I wore the same shoes with every single dress, but hopefully you're cool with it. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and start pulling these and show you them in the order that I tried them on yesterday. Though I do have to say, somehow it ended with like, I think my favorite favorites are like the last two. Um, but I love them all, don't get me wrong. You cannot go wrong with a Halloween fashion item in my book. Okay, so first is this little guy, which is a spider web dress. <sighs> so stinking cute. I almost, God, there were so many cute ones, it was so hard to pick. I really want the skeleton one with this little collar. And there's a bat one that like, I didn't see at first that I would have absolutely gotten. And I'm, I'm a little heartbroken, but... So cute, you guys. Okay, so what are words? All right, so this is the first guy. Like I said, it's a little spider web guy. It's got little spiders on the collar. This guy is nice and stretchy. I got all of them in a 22-24. As you guys know, I'm pretty much between sizes. I have tried one size down. Um, I think this dress right here is one size down and it worked fine. Um, this one, I think I could have gone down a size. I just would always rather have extra room. And I feel like so many places, I don't know. I just always err on the side of comfort because I'd always rather be more comfortable. I do think most of these, I probably could have gone down a size because most of them are stretchy. I think maybe the non-stretch one, I don't, I think I would, it would have been a little snug. Um, but the fit on these is absolutely perfect. I think it's pretty much true to size. I would check the size chart because when I checked the size chart, I was really close to the 2224. So that's what I opted to get. Uh, these are so cute. <laughs> they are so cute. This is one of the shorter ones, um, but it's not too, too short. By the way, I'm interested to watch the footage of this because you guys, when we were shooting this dress, yes, we went to a cemetery. It's a historical cemetery. We always pay our respects. If that bothers you, I'm very sorry. Um, we like to go visit because we're weirdos. It's okay. <laughs> Lena and I, uh, there's this one area, story time really quick, uh, because we were shooting this dress that the, I forgot until we were like in that area because like, it's so cool looking. It's like the chapel in the cemetery and there's something around that cemetery like excuse me there's something around that chapel that does not want us there so we didn't stay long and we as we left like neither of us said anything to the other person but like we both didn't feel good we both didn't like it once we moved places like we felt way better and <laughs> the camera was like Elena said she's like I didn't want to scare you but like it kept trying to focus on something else in the blurriest pictures out of all of them that just don't look good are of this dress. So hopefully I can go through and find a good enough one. Um, we might have to just reshoot it. But I can't believe it was such a weird moment, you guys. Such a weird moment. Um, but this one is nice and thin and stretchy and comfortable. Um, I think it's, it feels like a jersey. I'm not sure what it's made out of exactly. Uh, but this is so cute. It could be made better with pockets. I wish it had <laughs> pockets. But oh my gosh, it's so freaking cute give you kind of a close-up of it. I'm sure it's going to make it. Oh, but you have close-ups on this split screen. I remember we always get close-ups. So this is the first one. Absolutely love it. I would say 9 out of 10, only because there's no pockets. 
but everything else is adorable. Like I love the little spider embroidery. So cute. <laughs> Next, we're going to talk about this candy corn dress. You guys, this one feels like it's almost a little bit better quality than the first one. No shade to the first one. The first one's just a very like soft, generic jersey. And this one feels like kind of a crepe material, nice and thick, really stretchy and comfortable. I really, really like this one. It's got pockets. I feel like it's so cute as is, but because it's just kind of a more simple print. You can really dress this up. There are so many cute Halloweeny belts out there with like pumpkins on it or bats, stuff like that. Unique Vintage has some really cute belts as well um, that you could really style it up with. I ended up pairing it with a hat. <laughs> Excuse me. My favorite hat. I need to try and get a new one this year because you guys always want that hat and it was on tour for like two minutes and they no longer have it. So hopefully I can find you guys another wide brimmed hat this year that's affordable and hits hits <laughs> fits big noggins because I got a big old noggin um I can tell my lip is sweating how is it so hot it's like 8 30 at night you guys it's probably nine because I've been slacking <laughs> slack a lacking being slack a lacking um but yeah this one is so stinking cute and I'm pretty sure I still had on my tights I ended up ripping my fishnets so I wasn't wearing my fishnets for every outfit um I don't think I wore them for the last two because I ripped them and then it kept rolling down and I was over it over it so and the fishnets were from Tord too, so the hat was from Tord originally. Uh, but you can get wide room hats everywhere. I'm, if there's a unique vintage one, I will definitely link it. Amazon has them. Shein has them. Um, lots of places have them. But back to the dress. Absolutely beautiful. It's so freaking cute, you guys. <laughs> can I just wear these like all? I'm just going to start wearing them now and just like wear them all through spooky season. I'm so excited. Okay, so the next one we're going to talk about is very classic, unique vintage. Very perfect. Just like so classic and so unique vintage that I had to pick this one. Plus there's pumpkins on it. Um, but it's it's a little bit more modest than I, I don't know, you guys know I just love a little dress, but I don't know where I'm going with that. But this one feels like so expensive. I know you need vintage I know that unique vintage dresses are up there, but they truly carry things that are really hard to find anywhere else. They have the most like unique, cute style, and their dresses are always really high quality. So I'm always really impressed. I understand the pricing. I know some of you guys, because we mostly focus on affordable fashion here, but I like to give you guys options. Not every single one of you wants affordable fashion, and a lot of you guys did really love the unique vintage, and like you guys have been asking for unique vintage hauls for forever. Um, so... I'm just gonna keep bringing you a mix of whatever. Whatever feels good, whatever feels right. And you guys, I couldn't say no. I can never say no to Halloween dresses. Are you kidding? Okay, so this one, no pockets on this one, but I just think the design is going to look so good on so many people. It's got like the little three, four sleeves and there's like a little bit of a detail with a button. A little detail with a button on the sleeves. There's a nice zipper in the back. It's more of a midi length, so it is a little bit more modest if you don't want a shorter dress, which I know a lot of my plus size babes aren't aren't hip to the shorter dresses. Plus, if you're somewhere hot right now, it's impossible to wear tights. Fishnets are it. <laughs> That's all I can muster at the moment. And I love tights. I love them. Some of y'all make fun of me because I'm always wearing tights. I mean, I have in the summer because I've been sweating. But girl, I'm literally sweat. There's literally a drip of sweat down my forehead right now. But um, I really hate sweating. So we're giving up tights right now. Uh, this one is absolutely beautiful. There's some detail like on the neckline of like pleats and everything. And as you can see, there are little pumpkins. I'm sure we got a close up. Yeah, this one, 10 out of 10, absolutely stunning. I love it. I'm gonna take an AC break and I'll be right back. Let's keep going. Okay, this next one, you guys. Oh my gosh, honestly, I don't know if I've ever felt cuter than when I had this outfit on. I paired this with some little clips. I actually got the clips from Timu. They are so cute, but I've seen those clips on multiple websites. I've seen them on Amazon. I've seen them on Shein. Uh, so if you're looking for those, I will definitely try and link them down below. I'll try and link whatever I can down below that I wore. Um, but wow, those clips were cute. And then I did wear the buns. <laughs> These are the Amazon buns. I ordered some blonde ones. Um, and I, luckily, I could not find orange ones. And like you can't really color synthetic buns, but I feel like the peach is working. It's working for me. Um, so I just pop those in and put the little clippies on them. So cute. But oh my gosh, you guys, this was one of the first things that I was like, ah, I need it. I need it. They have every year the freaking cutest skirtles I've ever seen in my life. The only downfall is obviously it's just a skirtle. It doesn't come with the t-shirt or the top underneath. I just grabbed a top from a Fashion Nova dress uh, that I just tried on <laughs> and threw that on and went with it because it's just a basic white 
top. You can wear anything. I almost wore this tee or like a three four sleeve stripey tee with it, but then I just decided to go with the plain white because I thought the white would like really make the actual dress stand out. What gets me are these ruffles, you guys. It's kind of hard to tell when it's on, like how it sits at first. I think I need to just like, I think the more I wear it, they'll be like in the right positioning. Um, but this little strappies, you guys, they're ruffly and they are the cutest pockets with details. I just can't. This feels like really high quality. This one is non-stretch. I think every single other one has some stretch, some give. Uh, the first three are all really stretchy and then the next one has a little bit of stretch and then this one is, I don't think there's any stretch in this. Hold on. Oh, the smallest bit. So there is a tiny bit of give, which is going to make it a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> Absolutely so cute. The length is perfect. Everything about it is perfect. I can't recommend this one enough. I think it is the cutest thing ever. And honestly, I want to wear it every single day of my life. Um, So freaking cute. Uh, but yeah, this was one of my absolute favorites. And then last but certainly not least, I know you guys are going to love this. This literally was the first one in my cart. This one and the bat one were like the first ones. And then I was like, okay, you need the spider web one with that cute collar. You need that, that candy corn and that pumpkin. Um, the Smock Parlor, is it Smack Parlor or Smock? Smock? S-M-A-K Parlor, um, which is the, I think it's a, I'm assuming it's just like a brand for Unique Vintage or Unique Vintage brand. <sighs> Last year, they put out a dress similar to this with longer sleeves. Excuse me. But they dropped a baby doll dress this this year you guys how perfect is this i absolutely love this there's actually an event that i'm going to late august that i might just wear this as my dress <laughs> because i need a cute dress and i'm excited and this is just so me and i have to decide if i, I kind of want to put a belt with it but i don't know um for the pictures and everything i didn't put a belt with it i don't think what i did i think i just wore it with the Mary Janes because this dress speaks enough on its own. It's poofy. It's got these ruffly sleeves. I hope that you can see the actual detail. I'm sure on the split screen you'll be able to really see the detail of the moons and the stars and this is just the cutest thing I think I may have ever put on my body. This and the other one. I just want to wear them every day. <laughs> it keeps falling off the hanger. Um, there is stretchies here. You can wear this on or off the shoulder. I opted for on the shoulder because I was wearing a regular bra yesterday. Um, not that you couldn't tuck it in, but it's just so freaking cute. So this one, it has a little give. It's not, I wouldn't call it stretchy, but it's got a little bit of give. So, and I feel like all of these fit really well. They were really comfortable. Um, yeah, I can't say enough good things about these. They're so freaking cute. All right, love, so that is everything for this little unique vintage Halloween fashion haul. I'm so excited. I do have a few bits coming from Hot Topic because they have started dropping some of their Halloween fashion. I feel like unique vintage in Hot Topic drop like the freaking cutest Halloween fashion. Uh, there's some other places like Shein and Timu that will do some sort of like spooky fashion stuff. Uh, Boohoo does some stuff. Fashion of it is a little bit. Um, I'm trying to think of who else. You guys can think of anyone else that does Halloween fashion, but no one does it like Unique Vintage. Unique Vintage is always first to drop, always so cute, um, but this is not going to be the only Halloween fashion video we've got coming, I promise. There's going to be lots more. Uh, I am so excited and ready for Halloween. I'm just declaring it, like I said, Halloween now because I need, I need the dopamine and the serotonin and I need the joy. So... We're definitely going to do another Halloween hunting vlog probably this week. Uh, let me know where you want me to go. I did go to Marshalls last week, but they barely had anything. We're definitely going to go to TJ Maxx, back to Home Goods, Michaels, Ross. Let a girl know. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Thank you again to Unique Vintage for providing the dresses. I mean, they just gifted them to me. It wasn't like for this haul. But of course, I'm going to share them with you. Sorry I didn't put them back on again, but you guys, the lighting and everything is going to be way better in those clips anyway than it would be in this room. Uh, but yeah. Special thanks to Alina <laughs> for being the photographer on that. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. If you made it to the end, leave a little spider emoji. Or, no, just leave a little spider emoji. Or a bat emoji. Ooh, I think the bats. Let's do a bat. Just because it's cuter than a spider. My lip will not stop sweating. <laughs> okay. I don't know what else I was saying, but I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it if you could. It does help me out so, so much. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you have Instagram or threads or TikTok or anything else, definitely come follow me over there. Uh, Shannon underscore shortcake on Instagram. Shannon shortcake beauty on TikTok. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's be friends there too. I think that's it. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye. should change my shorts for some cuter one, but that's okay. That's okay.
Well, crap on out. I'm losing my mind. Why am I dancing? It's already too hot. All right. Well, that fan's really loud. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Put a little love. It's really hot. I'm so sick of this heat, guys. Okay. <laughs> okay. Lumina is right here. I could leave. A lot of you guys tell me to leave the air conditioner on, and you're so sweet. But then when I edit it, I just feel so bad. And I feel like sometimes it's louder than other times. And because it's got to be on super high right now, I'll almost leave it off. Um, hi, Luna. Okay, side note, I've seen that they have like anti-sweating face lotions. And my being like part Native American, I have learned that apparently that's a Native American thing. It happens to my dad too. And like someone reached out to me and said that everyone I know that's Native American happens to them. Which is very interesting because my forehead sweats, my lip sweats, the back of my neck sweats. I am a sweaty up here. But like... My pits aren't sweaty. Like, they're warm, but they're not sweaty. But I'm dripping from my face. I'll never understand it. 